and welcome to the Dental Talk Show. I'm your host Nick Peters and this is a weekly news update for the dental industry for this week. First in the news this week, a new dental device has been designed to help dentists spy on their patients. So this new gadget, which has been developed by the National Taiwan University, is a sensor which looks at the ins and outs of the oral cavity, along with a Bluetooth transmitter to transmit the data and tell the dentist what your mouth's been up to. Our mouth is the gateway to the body. We breathe through it, we eat through it, and occasionally we do the stupid thing of trying to open a beer bottle with it. But scientists think this is also an untapped resource for monitoring people's health. With this in mind, the National Taiwan University researchers reasoned that if they could hook up the mouth with some sensors, it could help to better understand people's habits and identify potential health problems, such as if a person is smoking or drinking too much. So this James Bond-like device is still at a prototype stage, but I'd like to get your views on this. Do you think if we continue down this road that it's going to cause problems between the dentist-patient relationship? Or do you think it will become a useful tool to help tailor make advice for the patient? Also in the news this week, suppose there's a new treatment to treat a specific kind of deafness that can only be treated by you, the dentist. A new device has been developed, which is a hearing aid which slots onto the back teeth. It will help patients who have deafness in the one ear. The system works by rerouting sounds from the deaf ear to the working one. Around 1 in 10 adults suffer from some degree of single-sided hearing, with around 10,000 new cases of complete deafness in one ear diagnosed each year. So the way your hearing works is that sound waves enter the ear, they travel to the eardrum and make it vibrate. These vibrations then go to the inner ear, which contains around 20,000 tiny hair cells. These cells move in response to the vibrations, and this movement is converted into electrical impulses that are sent along nerves to the brain, which interprets them as sounds. With standard hearing aids, an external microphone picks up the sound, amplifies it and delivers it into the ear. Unfortunately, these devices don't work for people with single-sided hearing loss because their inner ear or nerves are too badly damaged. The new hearing aid, called the Soundbite, uses the bone of the hearing aid to conduct the sound to the working ear. We actually hear sounds via bone conduction all the time, whether we're eating an apple or eating some crisps or even scratching our scalp. The device consists of a tiny microphone placed just inside the ear canal of the impaired ear to capture the sound travelling into the ear. The sound then is sent to a smaller transmitter worn behind the ear and smaller than a conventional hearing aid which transmits them to the device in the mouth. This device is roughly the size of half a matchstick and loops around over the patient's left or right back teeth, a bit like a wire for a dental plate. Once it receives a sound transmission, the tooth device then converts the signals into tiny vibrations, which are unperceptible by the user. The vibrations are conducted via the teeth through bone to the working ear, where the sound vibrations are turned into nerve impulses and sent to the brain. So even though this seems like a breakthrough product to help restore people's hearing, it's not a thing that's taken off uh, excessively. There's only around 70 practices in the state currently using the system. But I'd like to get your views on this, whether you'd be keen to uh, hook up with an audiologist and uh, this would be something you would provide at your practice. So please comment below. So also in the news this week, superstar Rihanna shows off a new set of grills which are in the shape of a gun. trend that's spreading through the celebrity world. Not a day goes by without one celebrity or another showing off their blinged up smile. But I'd like to get your views on this, whether you think it's something that's pretty cool or whether you think it's pretty tacky. Uh, I personally think it's a bit tacky and uh, don't really like it, but you know, it's what the cool kids like. But uh, it'd be good to get your views on this. 
So soon I'll have my website up and running, which will be www.dentaltalkshow.com. And at the moment, you can follow me on Twitter at Dental Talk Show. You can also follow me on my YouTube channel, which you're probably watching this on. Uh, but uh, please comment below, hit subscribe, and please share among your friends in the uh, dental industry. Let them know and spread the word. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.